Morning guys, welcome back. It's Saturday morning here at Eurotech and if you've been following me on Instagram this week you'll have seen something on the, the Gas Gas TBI build that I've been doing, the 300 and the bike is now finished and I was trying to get some film work out earlier this week but it's quite difficult but I'm now uh, here Saturday morning with the customer who's buying the bike to collect it and uh, let's go have a look at it. Hey, morning Dom. Morning Robbo. Good to see you mate. Nice to see you. <laughs> Freshy day. New bike. I know. New bike. Gas Gas 300 TBI. It's about time I think. Eventually for about 30 years of riding off road bikes at one point I would have ever, always get a Gas Gas. <laughs> Never fancy the trials bikes but you know I yeah. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd have to get myself a, get a, new, one. Yeah. a new one. Yeah. So red is the new orange as I say. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Look I've even got the gear as well. <laughs> so you've had KTM for the last but I've just well, thought I've had KTMs for Since I've known you, have had KTM. 11 years. I mean, I started off with a uh, riding out in the Middle East in the desert when I was out there on a EXC F500, I think. Yeah. And I've had sort of 450 XCFs, a 900, uh, 990 adventure bike. And then obviously when I started doing the enduro stuff, I got the 300, last 2017, 300 um, uh, two-stroke. And, yeah. uh, which ended up in Iran, strangely enough. I sold it to an Iranian. And then uh, a couple of TPI 300s. And then I thought, you know, this um, TBI is yeah. uh, something I really wanted to sort of have a, have a try and see what that's like. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's all, all new to me as well as this TBI stuff. Mm. Um, but a lot of work went into it this week. I was, I was working on this, or well, started on, uh, I think it was Tuesday. Quite a lot of doing, a lot of things to go on it. Uh, radiator braces, you've got all the suspension upgrades on it now, which Nick has done. Um, the graphics, what do you think of the graphics? Well, I looked at the ones, I, I fancied more blue in it. And to be honest, I sent Nick a picture of the, uh, I think it was the, what's that, Red Moto CRF. And I just thought the blue definitely um, sets it off better than uh, better than black, to be honest. And I just thought, you know what, I always like blue seats on the other bikes, so I just fancied yeah, I mean. I was really impressed with the seat cover, the, the one grip of seat. It took me about an hour to do, right. but it's, yeah, I think it looks really well on the bike. Well, to be honest, I've not used the one grip of seat, but I've heard so many good things about them. I thought, you know what, let's give it a try, really. And I thought the blue and the red would just look nice, you know. I think... Someone told me half the, half the battle's looking factory in the paddock, isn't it, really? <laughs> it's not about riding fast, it's about riding slow and looking good. And looking good, that's it, yeah. <laughs> well, what I'll say about the one grip of seats is, is make sure that your waistband on your pants is quite, quite snug. Right. Because on those steep climbs, pull you can start down. pulling your pants down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that, could be, that could be dangerous. Yeah, but yeah, bike's looking well. Um, it is, it won't look well after tomorrow though, because I'm off to uh, Elmsley, just to run her in. For the, is it a practice day? It's just a, pra it's just a play day, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm riding uh, Wild Willies the week after, so I thought, you know, I've got to at least get a mucky before then, because, you know, that'll be uh, <laughs> two hours of fun. So just going around the bike, we've got the... Red adenized X grip wheels on it. Yeah, there's no way I was buying a bike with silver wheels. It's just like 1970s, isn't it? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it just looks so much better. Yeah. Although the, the standard silver gas gas wheels are a good, a strong wheel. A good wheel. Yeah, but they just don't look right. But good. like, yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with that. The black just sets, sets it off nicely with the black rims and the red hubs. Uh, Engineering engineering rad braces you've had fitted. Those, that's something you use all the time, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. I, I, I did the ones before, probably weren't as, as sturdy as that, but to be honest, right, especially if you're doing some of like, uh, yeah. when it was seat of sky, they just, yeah. without those, you know, you just, you wouldn't finish the race because the amount of batter in the bikes get, it's just, uh, it's just, just something you really, really need. All the, all the protection is just money well spent. Yeah. And we've got some um, swing arm guards on. We have, yeah. I mean, they're, uh, they're coming useful as well. And I've fitted those with stainless steel clips for you. Oh, okay. So that's not going to come off. <laughs> and I've got the S3 um, foot pegs. The punk foot pegs, because they're 5 mil down and 5 mil back, which is what I had Raptors on the on the TPI. And it just, you know, it gives you a little bit more traction. I think that 5 mil back does make a little bit of difference. Yeah. 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 And you've gone with standard open flag type guards. Why is that? Just, I mean, I put closed ones. Uh, when I do Romaniacs, but in general, you know, I just find it's, it's nice to ride with them, to be honest. It's just obviously the, the risk of you breaking levers and things and, and causing a bit of damage. So for some of them longer events, I certainly will go back to open guards. But I'm led to believe from Nick, you can actually fit the closed ends to these ones. Yes, you can. Yeah. So yeah. I thought that was a good idea. 
Cool. And uh, I like this suspension where we've got the TBR conversion in there. Nick did all the valving on that the other day. I got some footage of that. Um, that's a massive, that is a big, big upgrade because the standard bike company, just the, the standard WP compression on one side and yeah. rebound on the other, doesn't it? So you've now got it on both sides, compression yeah. and rebound. And you've got uh, a rear spring and you've had the rear shock lowered. Yeah. I just find that sort of that. That look being that slightly lower just helps when you're sort of when you're stuck on the hill and you want to get your feet down. It does make a difference. Yeah. You've been able to get both feet firmly on the ground to take a bit of good push. But overall, are you impressed? Very, yeah, yeah. Mm. The only thing I'm disappointed is the Acropovic didn't uh, transfer across the old bike. <laughs> but uh that'll be going for sale. So if anyone wants an Acropovic, give me a shout. Um no, it looks great. It really looks nice. Just uh say I can't wait to get my leg over it and uh take it out. See how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Good awesome. Well, it's been great working on it, Dom. Thanks for the work yeah, on the bike. an absolute pleasure. i give you an update you know, as to what it rides like. I work on these bikes like they're my own bikes, so... Ah, good, you, good. You've gone, so you've no got, to blame. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it, enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers, Thanks. Dom. Thank you.